Look at that thing. Definitely did not intend on mushroom hunting today when I came out here, but uh, crappie bite was pretty slow. I was fishing from the bank, didn't get any crappie. So I walked up here, I saw a sycamore grove, and uh, traditionally sycamore groves can be very, very good for mushrooms. So, I mean, no sooner than I stepped in, found a nice five pack there. Took a few more steps, a little bit more looking around. And I'm still finding. So today's crappie fishing trip turned into a mushroom hunt trip. If you're not sure what a sycamore is, it's these white trees here that uh, kind of grow in the lowlands. They got the real paper-like bark. For whatever, for one reason or another, there's almost always morels in a big sycamore patch like this if you can find one. So good places to look. Don't pass them up. Well, here we are again. So I told you about sycamores. But cedars also are one of my favorites, especially because there's not a whole lot of undergrowth under cedars usually. I found this little cedar grove here, and this isn't 20 yards from the sycamore grove. You can see the sycamores right over there. Um, under the cedar here, looks like we're maybe getting a little dry up here, but I think that'll soak and puff back up for me. All right, here's another classic example. I saw this uh, sycamore tree over here all by itself, kind of down in this little uh, valley you see here. There's a couple more in here, but this one right here caught my attention. I walked over and there it is, nice little patch. I just stopped and found three, so might be more and might not. Beautiful freshy right there. Just came out of the ground a few days ago it looks like. Look at this sycamore grove I found though. This is this is what you look for. This is beautiful. Good shade, good grass, and just sycamores everywhere. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm just right over here. Looks like I might have accidentally stepped on it coming in two of them right next to each other. Yeah, I might have made a mistake there. But... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So a tactic I use when I get into these areas like this where there's uh, real good looking sapling sycamores and dead trees and stuff, but there's also lots of grass and underbrush, uh, I kind of break it down into a grid and I just start walking back and forth to make sure I cover the whole thing because you almost need to be right on top of the mushrooms looking down to see them, and I'll show you why right here. That guy right there. He's down there. If I wouldn't have been right over the top of that mushroom, I would have missed it for sure. Another dead tree find. About as fresh as they get. It is just an absolute sycamore grove kind of day today. I've been looking around uh, hardwoods and thicker woods, but they just seem to be out here in the uh, sycamore patches today in these little grassy areas. There's one there. Another one there. And I just found these two, so good chance there's probably going to be more. Sure enough, there was. Nice three there. It's going to be interesting getting these ones out of here. It's pretty thorny. They're in there, though. Man, am I thankful for this patch I just found, but holy cow, these thorns are painful. Mother Nature knew what she was doing making those, I guess, defense-wise. That's what I've got so far. Got one here. Slowly crawling my way through these thorns. 
actively finding more. There's one. There's two. So seems like the deeper into these thorns I get. I'll show you this. Just a mangled mess. The deeper in here I get, the more I keep finding. So we'll keep going. guys are just about as fresh as they get. I'm loving it. I'm trying not to bust them off like that, but it happens sometimes. Oh, there's another one. Still crawling through thorns. Well, there you have it. This is a really good example of why I love sycamore trees and they're consistently productive. I like finding these areas that are almost too thick to get through with sycamores. They're just consistently, and this is a brand new spot. I've never been here before. I just saw it from a distance and figured I'd come give it a try, but results speak for themselves. There you go. 28, I think, in that little patch I just found. That was on the first walkthrough, so there's bound to be a few more that I missed on the second one. Here we go again guys, walking these sycamores and just cannot seem to do any wrong in there today. I just saw these ones and stopped and I've already seen five or six others. Here's one at my feet. Just a good patch. Another one peeking out of a the leaf there. There you go. There he is. Right there. Just amazing. That was a killer patch. I picked up another 16. Let me move my backpack so you can see. Just fresh, beautiful yellow. Pretty nice mushrooms. I still got a lot of sycamores ahead of me. That just seem to be producing patch after patch here. Hopefully that continues. I'm going to have a little bit of lunch here and then get back on it. Alright, here we go again. New patch. Still in sycamores. That guy there might be a little hard to see, but sure enough, there he is. Still piecing them together off this patch. I think I got. 14 or 15 now out of here. That was a nice big one. Perfect. Still trekking along in this little grove. Still producing. This is just, man, what an amazing mushroom hunt. Awesome freaking mushroom hunt. That one's going to stay here for Mother Nature to put back in the ground. Another three here. Just up the way here. One. Two. I want to show you guys this one because it's kind of cool. Um, I picked a lot more singles since I last talked, but uh, this guy, he's just up here growing on this rocky hillside in the Ozarks here. Straight up, just massive incline. You just never know where you're going to find these things. Well, this is a mushroom hunt, but I'll take that nice little two point deer shed walking up this hill here. I will absolutely take that. Cool. Alright, so I finished up that sycamore patch and uh, started walking hardwoods and stuff and it just stopped. I quit finding mushrooms, so um, I saw another sycamore patch in the distance, so I went over to it and I just got up to it. Sure enough, sycamores right there. For what 
whatever reason, they just uh, really like to grow alongside this kind of tree. It's proven itself time and time again today. So take that for what you will. Well, it's a little dry, but that's probably the biggest one of the trip right there. Getting towards the end of the day here. Just looking around, I just noticed this. Looks about just like this one. And then right up here, another one right there. Liking it. Liking it, liking it. Another big fat one growing out of this rock area here. Steep hillside. Real rocky. Doesn't seem to bother them one bit. Oh, up there. There's another one. They don't seem to mind the rocks one bit. The stem on this thing. Just a mammoth. He's a little dry, but it should fluff back up in water. That's amazing. So I just picked these two goliaths on this rocky hillside here. And uh, looked a little further ahead. I found three or four more that were just too far gone to pick. But look down here. This thing is fresh and it's just absolute giant. Let me get it out of there. Just a beast. Look at that thing. Beautiful. I don't usually pull the plugs on them, but as big as this thing is, I don't know, I might try and dehydrate it and preserve it. Just as something to put on a shelf or something. We'll see. That thing is awesome. Got to be the biggest one I've ever found. That thing is a giant. Came up to another good patch here. Another group of sycamores I found. Um, I still got a big guy out here, but found five in it so far. Got this little guy here. I keep telling myself I'm leaving, then I keep coming on more mushrooms. So that's a pretty good problem to have in my book. Alright guys, I think I picked up another dozen or so singles along the way, but I had to show you this. I come came up to this log here, just a down log. And under the log, got a couple there, nice three there. A couple there. I just thought that was pretty cool how they're kind of growing right under that log. Well, there's the day that turned out being 174 total. That was a totally new spot, never been to before. Figured I'd pull over and try it, and it really paid off. So, tried to go crappie fishing this morning. The crappie weren't biting, so I went out and uh, salvaged the day with a good pile of mushrooms. So, 